Hello, the internet. It's Ghost here, and welcome to episode forty. Ep- bleh, wow, words. Oh my goodness. Welcome to episode forty-eight of Minecraft Creative, in which today we are working on the folklore section of the Taylor Swift world, and I think a bit of Evermore. But that's because it's mostly just planting flowers today. Because if you don't know, one of the things I do to help blend together the various bits of my Minecraft world is plant an extortionate amount of flowers to try and blend the colours together a bit better on the ground and also add some dimension. Because whenever I kind of prepare and terraform the Minecraft world, I just obliterate everything. Every plant gets burnt down, it's cleared out and smoothed out, and then it's like plain and boring as you can kind of see in the background where the, like the midnight section is if anyone has ideas for midnight's builds i need them like now because i don't know what i'm gonna do so to start off on fixing the terraforming because let's be honest this looks plain and boring as hell um i started off by putting in coarse dirt paths which is exactly how we ended last episode Apologies to anyone who watched that. If you haven't, go watch it. We build a fish and chip shop. Um, so I figured that with folklore and evermore, it wouldn't look right to do like a permanent looking path. It should look like it's been trodden in because we're going for the woodsy, whimsical vibes. And woodsy, whimsical vibes to me is like trodden in paths through the woods. I then realised I had to add a little bridge over the train track because you need to be able to get over that and obviously there's like no timings on the trains and stuff because it's just people going on minecarts back and forth as much as they want um and this one does at least loop around because i think i have had one at one point that you could only go actually i have a train track you can only go in one direction on which is fun um but there are little airports if you have elite elytra wings you can oh well, whatever they're called however you say them you can fly to different places um, but other than that, yeah, no, you're stuck on the train track going round in circles. <laughs> Have fun with that. Um, I then added in a bunch of trees because I wanted to kind of fill a decent chunk of this space around the thing so it didn't look so exposed. Um, we're trying to make it feel like you're in the middle of the woods and it's cute and whimsical. I'd also like to talk about the fact that, um... Folklore and Evermore have now been combined into one set on the era's tour which i think is really disappointing i flipping love the folklore and evermore set and now it's one set and you're telling me i only get one costume for both like what now i love the folklore and evermore costumes and now now there's only gonna be one i mean i'm not actually going to see the tour but there's only gonna be one huh like as much as i love tortured poets department and all that why are we sacrificing folklore and evermore? They're like also relatively new on the scale of the set. The, the set list. Oh my god, I hate concert terminology. This is a mess. <laughs> Anyways, so for flowers, we're using a comp. I just flicked a hairpin on the floor. Oops. We're using a combination of white tulips, lily of the valley, and azure blue for folklore. Um, Because they're kind of in the colour palette, so then when I move towards the evermore bit, I can then kind of cross in some of the other flowers which i bl oh and i also added oxide daisies because i like those um and then oh god why am i yawning i slept for ages last night um there is a thread coming loose in my blanket wow i get so easily distracted it is a problem when we're doing this but hey we deal with it um i then added in a bunch of ferns and stuff to try and like liven up the area add some texture admittedly I should have just bone mealed it and not individually placed them because that was a complete waste of time. But hey, we did it anyways. I've also added more moss in. And if you know me, you know how much that when I first kind of started these videos, I used moss on like everything. I love moss. My love for moss is ridiculous. It is one of my favourite blocks. I also haven't played Minecraft on the new update that literally just came out. Well, it, it might have been out for a few days, but in terms of when my laptop's been started up and Minecraft launcher opened, it has just came out. This video was recorded. This was the last video recorded on that Minecraft world before that update came out, so I'm excited. Which, oh, that means it's an update review time. Oh, God, I forgot I had to do one of those. I don't even know if I did one for 1.20 oopsies um so the flowers for evermore is just orange tulips dandelions and poppies because they're warmer colors and they look pretty that is that they're also very basic flowers which is 
It, it, I mean, it did mean that when I would bone meal things, I didn't have to break the flowers because I always feel a bit sad doing that. But nonetheless, it was so much easier. Um, I think I then added in a bunch of berries, maybe, depending on what I do. Yeah, I added in more berries. They hadn't grown by the time I finished this video, but they will be grown by the next time I go on the Minecraft world. Hopefully. Theoretically. Probably. Um, I'm really hoping that there aren't any new blocks in the new update that, like, real that <laughs> are ones that I would have wanted to use on all of these Minecraft builds, because I'm not changing them. I've spent however many months working on this. Like... Hey, if you want to stick around for the remainder of this project, like and subscribe, kids, because we're doing plenty more of this. Um, we're almost there, though, and then we're going to try and build something for the Torch Post Department, but that's all we have time for. Goodbye, the internet. I will see you all again very soon.